Hey guys, welcome to my unboxing on this uh, Legend of Zelda collector's box, loot box. Um, now, typically I'm not really a sucker for uh, one of these guys here, but I really like the art design on this. It just kind of immediately called out to me. Uh, from here, as you can see, you got different uh, different drawings from all throughout the series. Pretty cool. Now, in this box, it says it has a few things available. Immediately, you can see this little statuette here. It's got a Master Sword and a shield there. And uh, for one, please mind the glare. Up top, it says we got a throw blanket, notebook, water bottle, a fanny pack, and an enamel pen. And here we got a link with the classic ocarina pose, but it looks a little bit updated. Now, I found this over at Best Buy, just kind of out of nowhere. I feel like you can usually find these in Target and such. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> let's get this popped up right immediately here. Now, I didn't notice until I got it that this had a little crease here, but oh well. At least that glare is gone now. Let's get this puppy right open. Is it worth the buy? Is it worth the buy? So let's get this flap open. And... Let's start with this here. Now, first and foremost, uh, uh, gotta be careful with that. Okay, so the first thing I guess I like about this, it seems like we can actually pull out the sword, can we? Ah, uh, yes we can. Very sharp, looks and feels good. I mean, I feel like if you had a figure or some, a Link figure around, this would be a nice little addition. Um, let me set this down. Let me get that to focus on there a little bit if possible. Doesn't seem like it will, but there it is. And then on the shield, you got some other nice little detail on there. Nice little shine to it. Bottom here we have the Triforce logo, product of Nintendo. So you know, make sure it's official. Weird little scratch here. Um, overall, Pretty good quality, not the greatest, but hey, something to hang out on your desk or just set out. Looks pretty nice. Furthermore, ah, we got this blanket here. Now, I won't unravel this whole thing, but it looks like it'll be the map. The map of what? I'm gonna go ahead and say this looks like... I'm not too sure what map this is based off of. But it's super soft, I'll give you that much. And winter is coming, so might as well be ready for an extra one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just say obviously it's Hyrule, but which Hyrule? As far as the cup here, we get nice little see-through green. I like that so far. We get a nice little brown up top here. Kind of goldish brown. This is a good bottle. Not too thick, but you know, should be easy to wash and whatnot. And we got the, uh, it says Culture Fly. I guess that's the brand who uh, brought this out. Pretty nice tag. Furthermore, let's get into this right here, actually. This is the other big piece here. This is the fanny pack. Now, who needs a fanny pack? I guess I do. That's why I bought it. Now, this is more like a strap here. It's not really anything stretchy. It's good. It's solid. Here, of course, you get the Triforce. You get the three elements on there. Really nice detail, actually. I like this. Here we got the Z. This is uh, rubbery. Kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Z, actually. Good little space here. You know, honestly, this is a nice little bag to carry your Switch around if you don't, if you don't want to be holding it, you know. And this is nice, actually. This nice little detail inside. Yeah, at least this doesn't feel cheap. This is really good material. And again, I feel like you know you can carry your uh, your Switch accessories and your games on here. So at least that's what I immediately came to mind without having to carry it in your hand or hand carry. Uh, and then lastly, we got a few more items left. Here are the pins or the pin. Now this is great. This is actually really great. We got the Triforce there in the middle. Link, Zelda, and Ganondorf along with their elements. Well, not their elements, but the elements. Pretty good. It's double pin actually. Again, great product of uh, great product of Nintendo here. And then very lastly, we have. Oh, I was not expecting that kind of cover. I was expecting a very basic brown or just a basic notebook. Let's get 
get this puppy open. So again, Culture Fly, officially, official Nintendo licensed product 2020. So this is new. Uh, again, I just kind of saw this and immediately felt like grabbing it. Uh, let's see if there's anything special inside here. Oh, uh, no, little silhouette of Link in there. As you may see, you get the Triforce up at the top. Pretty basic stuff. Now, really, the question comes down, is this loot box, like most loot box, worth their money? And, I mean, obviously, as it always goes, if you're a fan of Zelda, you probably will justify that. I say for 40 bucks, it's well-rounded. I guess the biggest value in it has to be the bag, for sure. The fanny pack. Again, this just makes a great Switch case. Um, the one that you can have on the go without you having to carry. So, I feel like that's the biggest utilization out of it. There we got the stand. And then, again, the pen is also great. And then again, the um, throw blanket. It's a nice little throw blanket you can probably put on your couch or over your bed. Uh, but overall, yeah, I'd say it's worth it if you're a fan. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this answers some of your questions whether this is worth it or not. Again, I immediately saw it. I felt like it'd be fair for somebody to check out a video first before they decide to check, uh, buy it themselves. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Stay tuned.